All right, Jack, let's uh, let's go ahead and get a grip on Hebrews chapter three, which verses and which title kind of came about for you. Well, the title of this passage was the son was faithful. Okay. Hebrews three, one through three says, therefore, holy brethren, partakers of the holy calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our confession, Christ Jesus who was faithful to him who appointed him, as Moses also was faithful to all his house. For this one has been counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who built the house has more honor than the house. <laughs> yes, excellent, G. All right, slide us to your R for your reveal. Well, the writer here claims that Jesus existed before Moses, as Jesus claimed to have existed before Abraham. Long before his birth in Bethlehem, Jesus existed as the creator God. That's do you long. know? Go ahead. Do you know that Jesus created everything from the beginning to the present? Jesus, even before he was here as man, was beside the Father, and he was the creator of the earth and the sky. And everything that was created was created by Jesus. Love it, Jack. It's going to be a strong implementation. I can sense it coming. As one of the partakers of a heavenly calling, our destination is heaven. Your heart resides with Christ, where your home is. Knowing where your home is means that you are not searching for a temporary earthly dwelling to satisfy you. You can rejoice because this, this life does not hold you. God does. Well, speak a little bit more into that, Jack, because that is strong. Christ is where your home is. Well, God holds you in his hands. Mm -hmm. He protects you. Mm -hmm. He watches over you. If you'll just get out of the way and let him lead your life, he has great plans for every one of us. Yes. So let God lead you. Let God guide you. Let God go before you. Why? Because he loves you more than life. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Thank you for that, Jack. How about a nice, strong prayer with your P to close this out? Well, Lord, thank you for giving me a home with you in heaven. I'm so look, looking forward to going home. Amen. Amen. Jack, even, I mean, you're not, you're 90, 91. You're going to be 92 yes. in December. Yes. And I know you're looking forward to going to your eternal home in heaven. But while you're here on earth, you are truly an example of finishing strong here on earth. Thank you. I, uh, I hope so. Uh, I have this burning desire in me to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I want to make a difference for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's my calling mm -hmm. is to speak out, be bold. Mm -hmm. Let others know what Christ means to me mm. so I can make a difference to them. Mm. Well, you've been a great example. And I think part of that calling is really uh, pouring into us. You know, uh, the guys uh, threw in this grip on our, on our Wednesday night call, doing these daily grips. Uh, you're really making an impact, Jack. It's phenomenal. Well, thank you. I'm, I hope so. Absolutely. That's Remember, right. it's all worth it for the one. Right? Yeah, that's right. That's my heart's desire is that one guy mm. will receive Christ. That one guy will show a difference. That one guy will turn his life around and live for Jesus. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. First three grips are been phenomenal. Let's